Hey kids, welcome to another math video. This is for Eureka Math, grade five, uh, module three, lesson 16 homework, and it is the last assignment in the book for module three. Hooray! And this is always very exciting to be done with a module. Um, I don't know, I get tired of doing the same thing all the time. I get tired of fractions and I wanna do something different. So anyway, uh, let's get through this. Should be a pretty quick video and the, uh, the um, goal our objective today is at the bottom of the page, explore part to whole relationships. Kind of a weird thing, you know, they throw these in every once in a while. But um, it's really important to help you think. So it's very useful. So let's get into it. We're gonna draw the following roads. So <clears throat> hang in there with me if you don't understand what it's about. And again, problem set video, very helpful. Go watch that first, and then let's do this together. So if you have one road, Okay, this is, they're going to call it a road. I would say it looks a whole lot like a tape diagram. Okay, well, it is. The piece shown below is only three-sevenths of the whole. So we're really learning about the words and what do they mean. This is three out of seven. This is three-sevenths of the whole. This is not the whole. This is three. So what you need to do is you need to divide what you see into three and then complete the drawing to show the whole road. So what I need is I need another section that's going to give me one, two, three, Four more because I need seven. This is three, the whole is seven. So that's what your drawing should look like. Very important to understand what the words mean and to keep the, the things that they're telling you, like this piece shown is, look at the numerator. So we haven't done a whole lot of numerator discussion. Uh, we have done a lot of denominator discussion. How about the next one? We're gonna make one road or one tape diagram. The piece shown below is one sixth of the whole. This is one out of six. My goodness, I have to make a lot more pieces and they're all pretty big. So if this is one, then this would be two, and this would be three, and this would be four, and five, and roughly six. So again, just trying to understand the language. This is really like reading. It's a reading lesson, okay? Uh, now the next one is where it really starts to get interesting, okay? Now the next one, we're going to create three roads. Here they said one, one, this is three. Roads A, B, and C. All right, so let's just say, all right, we got an A and a B and a C. We're going to get ready for that. So B is three times longer than A. Now, let's read the whole thing, and then we'll start drawing. C is twice as long as B. Draw the roads. What fraction of the total length of the roads is the length of A? If road B is seven miles longer than road A, what is the length of road C? So we need to make a picture. We need to come back and answer the question slowly so that we can figure out, well, you know, if I was talking about real roads or a map or comparing things in my neighborhood, I would be able to communicate when I'm talking about this is longer than that. How many times longer? Three times, okay? What is twice as long? What does that look like? So let's draw. If I have B is three times longer than A, then A is gonna, be represented with one block, like one tape diagram. Let's not make it too big, because in case we end up with something like that. So if I have B that is three times longer than A, that's one, that's two, that's three. That's what three times longer looks like. So you wanna make your boxes match for the singles. So each one should be the same size unit. Okay, and that's for road B. Road C 
is twice as long as B. Now, a, a hint here is to make the sections the same size in the smaller chunks too. So when I look at C being twice as long as B, well, first you can make your uh, road slash tape diagram and look at it in the big picture. But also pay close attention to how we're doing these unit sizes because I want you to break it up into little chunks so that now we have all the same size pieces. This is gonna be very, very important when we start getting numbers involved and trying to find the difference and adding things, okay? So back to the question again, reread it many times. If B is three times longer, good, got it. C is twice as long as B. There it is, got it. Draw the roads, did it. What a fraction of the total length of the roads is the length of A? So how many pieces are there? That's where this comes in now that you have sectioned them off. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The total number of pieces is your denominator, okay? And A is one of them. So A is one-tenth of the length of all the roads. Okay, so this is one out of 10. So count up all the pieces and then see what A is. What, if I said, what is the length of road B? You would say that is three-tenths of the length of all the roads, okay? Um, now, if road B is seven miles longer than road A, this is the part they're talking about, seven miles longer. This is seven miles, and that's the extra distance past the end of A. What is the length of road C? Use this and say, okay, if two pieces are seven miles, then that's seven, and that's seven, and that's seven. You can do a multiplication problem. You can do um, a simple addition problem. You could break it in and find singles and go three and a half, all those different times. It doesn't matter uh, how you get there, but we're just trying to look at the information they give us, put it onto your picture, and then make your calculation. So the length of road C, hopefully you know that, is 21 miles. Yay. So um, click subscribe, come back again, uh, because I do like to help with math. Uh, for the last one, you have the option to write your own road problem with two or three lengths. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do, and I'm not going to write it for you, but I will give you a couple suggestions. Um, if you really don't understand the concept very well, really just try to do two lengths. Okay, so just say you would start it with um, like two roads. Okay, and it's going to be road A and road B, and have something longer than. So road A is how many times, you decide, longer, or road B, you can you do whichever one you want, it doesn't really matter, but remember, just make the picture of the road that's shorter, the short one, and then the whichever one you want longer by a specific number of times, okay? Um, then you might want to ask about, like, give a number. So if, if A or B, it really is up to you again, your problem, um, is a certain number of miles, then a simple question would be how long is the other? Okay, the other one. So you make it as hard or easy as you want to. If you barely understand it, try this. If you really get it, do three roads and make some, um, do some odd numbers, have something be like 21 miles, um, but you have to get half of that. So make it really fun. 
uh, and challenge yourselves. So that's my recommendation for, for that one. Anyway, I, like I said, I'm not going to write the problem for you. I just want you to think about how to do it, and this would be a real skeleton uh, of how to set it up. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video in Module 4. So exciting. Come back again. Bye for now.